Hello everyone. Uh, today I have taken a full-fledged speaking test. I've selected a couple of questions which I feel uh, would come in future. So in the first part, it's all about flowers in the beginning. The first question goes like this. Do you like flowers? I do love flowers for it gives me a lot of serenity and makes me feel cheerful when I'm low. What kinds of flowers do you know? This is a difficult question to answer as I'm aware, I'm aware of flowers of my choices such as flowers which are colorful and sweet scented. What's your favorite flower? I do like different types of roses, jasmine and daffodils. My favorite flower happens to be a white rose. What flowers have special meanings in your country or hometown? Flowers are definitely close to my heart and they do have a special meaning at, as it brightens my day. In India, lotus is considered to be a national flower which symbolizes harmony. Have you planted any flowers? I have planted a bed of roses and, uh, I, uh, and I have been blessed with a green thumb. I also have a garden of some ornamental flowers. On what occasions would you give someone flowers? In India, it's a tradition and culture to give flowers, especially on festivals. What was the last time you gave someone flowers? I hardly get an opportunity to gift uh, of flowers. However, I vividly remember giving my best friend a bouquet of roses for her birthday. Do you, do you look at the sky? Why? Frankly speaking, I do not like stargazing. At times during night, I go to my rooftop and watch the sky. Can you see the moon and, uh, and stars at night where you live? Based on the weather conditions in Bangalore, we get to watch the moons and stars. In other words, I would like to say that if the sky is clear, then when we uh, then we get to see a cluster of stars and bright moon. If we have black clouds, then you may not be lucky enough to watch the sky at night. Do you prefer the sky in the morning or the sky at night? I enjoy sky watching in the morning as the sky is clear and blue and moreover it gives me positive energy to do my work enthusiastically throughout the day. Which parts of your country are the best places to look at the moon and stars at night? In India, we have many astronomy centers. However, from my point of view, I can say that the best place to watch the sky would be from our house rooftops. Coming to the next section, that's the Q-Cup round. The topic I have chosen is, describe a time when you helped a friend. You should say, when it happened, how you helped him or her, and why you helped him or her, and explain how you felt about it. I believe in the saying, a friend in need is a friend indeed. And I practice the same principle and I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a friend in the hour of need. I can recollect an incident which took place a decade ago. It so happened that one of my friend's mother was hospitalized for medical emergencies. At the hospital, she was diagnosed with the last stage of blood cancer. My friend was shattered emotionally and also she was worried about the exorbitant cost at the hospital which was beyond her reach. This was when I decided to help her both financially and boost her morale. I was with her mother at the hospital. My other besties came to know about the same and approached me. We all pooled up money for my friend's mother's medical expenses at the hospital and also mentally prepared my friend to accept my mother's sickness. On many occasions, I have guided and assisted my friends who they are proud to have me as a friend. Coming to the discussion round, which is part three, and the questions go like this. Do you like helping others? Helping a person in the hour of need has come to me in my blood. My paternal grandmother and my father have done a lot of social work in their time. I do like lending a helping hand every now and then. It gives me satisfaction of having helped someone needy. 
How do you feel when you have helped someone? After helping someone, I feel elated that I could help someone to smile when he or she needed my help. And also, I have a habit of patting my back. How do people usually help each other? In the present day world, people have become very self-centered and some people help others only for vested interest. Only a handful uh, help each other from the bottom of their hearts wholeheartedly. How is online help different from real life help? Personally, I can say that online help cannot be trusted whereas on the other hand, the real life help is genuine and trustworthy. What are the differences between help friends and help family? From my understanding, I can say that there are minor differences between the help rendered to both our friends and kit and kin. To illustrate, a help is tendered only when the other person, be it a family member or a friend in need, is in need. Thank you. And this is the end of the speaking test. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank you all for subscribing to my channel and also request you to continue to do the same. Thank you. Have a good day.